got the juice. I've got the fire. I've got the burning desire. Today is a favorite day. Welcome back to our lesson. And I hope you will all enjoy the lesson and stick with me up to the end. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Last lesson, we talked about small. Then last week, we talked about smaller. And today, we want to talk about smallest. Today, we want to talk about smallest, biggest. Now, when you talk about small, we talked about small as a rat. But last lesson, we realized that there is even something smaller than a rat. Of course, there is now another one that is even more smaller than that cockroach we talked about. Now, let's learn this. Do you remember when we were walking around our environment? We saw the worms, we saw the ants, we saw the cockroaches. You know all those creepy crawlies. Do you know the way they crawl? They keep on crawling very fast. But an ant is a very busy animal. Do you know an ant is a very busy animal? That's an animal that knows how to take care of itself. It will never live hungry because it is always working. And I want most of you to be like ants. Always busy, always busy, always busy. Look busy, look busy. So when I was talking about the small, and we talked about the rat, but now last lesson we said, even the rat is not smaller. We have the cockroach that is small, smaller. But now today we even have the ant. Ant is even small. You, you know, if you're not very keen, you cannot see the ants because that's why they keep on biting you and they hide. They bite and they hide. They bite and they hide. Do you know that? Why? Because the rat is small. Sorry. The rat is small. Uh -huh. Then we have the cockroach that is smaller. The cockroach is smaller. And now we have to answer the last week's question. Do you remember our last week's question? It was about which other word do we use there to show that now that one is the tiny of all of them all. So we are saying today the ants are the smallest. The ants are the smallest. So what do we say? Small, smaller, smallest. Here we go. Small, smaller, smallest. Now we come up. Mm -hmm. How do you do? Uh -huh. Big, this one is big, but now this one is bigger. Now like giants, biggest. Okay, so if last week we talked about smaller, today you want to talk about smallest, tiniest, this small one that you cannot even be able to see. So if we are talking about the, the rat is small, make a sentence using the word the rat, the rat is small. Uh -huh. What about smaller? We said which animal is small. Here we are talking about the rat. This one is the rat. The rat is small. Now we are here. We are talking about the cockroach is smaller. Now we come here. Which one is the smallest? The ant is the smallest. Now, if I was to make a sentence, what will I say? I will say the cockroach is smaller than the rat. What about the cockroach? The cockroach is smaller than the rat. Now, about the ant, the ant is the smallest. So what do we do? The word smaller is used to compare two things. The word smaller is used to compare two things. I cannot say the ant is the smallest than. No, that's very wrong. But I can say the cockroach is smaller than the rat. And what will I say about the ant? The ant is the smallest. When you see the word smallest with an EST, it means that is now the last one. You've reached the last point. You cannot add anything about from, to that. But when I hear smaller, this is an R. I am comparing two things. So we say the cockroach is smaller than the rat. The cockroach is smaller than the rat. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you seeing the word smaller than? You cannot say smaller the rat. The cockroach is smaller than the rat. 
Then what about the ant? The ant is the smallest. Now assume this is our ant. Look at this. Uh-huh. Look at this. Are you seeing? Now look at this. So this one is the rat. This one is the cockroach. This one is the... This one is the ant. So we say small, smaller, smallest. Again we go small, uh -huh, smaller, smallest. Uh -huh. Now the next word is biggest. Last lesson we talked about Janet's tank. Do you remember about Janet's tank? And we talked about Jen's tank. So you want to find out what is the size of Johnny's tank. And we saw this Jen's tank was 500 liters. And we find out that now Janet's tank was 5,000 liters. And you want to find out how many liters is Johnny's tank. Did you visit Johnny's home? How many visited Johnny's home? How many visited Johnny's home? How many visited Johnny's home? Yeah, you visited. Yes. Teacher, someone told me that Johnny's tank was now 50,000 liters. So you see, are you seeing Johnny's tank the way it's huge? Which means it can carry water that can serve Johnny's house for, the, for one full year. Do you know that? 50,000 is a lot. If Janet's tank is 500 liters, Janet's tank is 5,000 liters. Now Johnny's tank is 50,000 liters. Now, using the word biggest, what can we talk about Johnny's tank? So we are saying this is Jen, this is Janet, and this is John. Someone make a sentence. Someone make a sentence. Last time we said Janet's tank is smaller than Jen's tank. No, Janet's tank is bigger than Jen's tank. Today we are saying Johnny's tank is the biggest. Uh huh. Walk in the house like the biggest. Uh huh. Yeah, the same way I've remembered something about the family. Uh huh. This one is big. Who is this? This is Janet. Now, this is Janet's mother. Don't show mommy this. Huh? This is Janet's mother. You see Janet's mother? Uh huh. This is Janet. This is. Janet's mother. And now, who is the head of the family? Who is the head of the family? Did you see the head of the family? Who is the head of the family? Father. So we have Janet is big, but mommy is bigger. Mommy is bigger. Uh -huh. What about daddy? Daddy is the biggest. Daddy is the biggest. So we have to say big Bigger, biggest. Uh huh. We say it now nicely. Big. This is Janet. Big. Janet is big. Uh huh. Mother, bigger. What about daddy? Daddy is big. And he comes home, pays the school fees, and now he's the head. Daddy is biggest. So when you talk about big, bigger, biggest, we say big, bigger, biggest. So make a sentence using the word biggest. What did you say? Following the same example, I want someone to write for me a sentence. In the next lesson, you read me a sentence using the word Johnny and their tank. So we said, Jen's tank is big. Janet's tank is bigger. What did we say about bigger? The word bigger is used to compare two things. So I can compare Janet's tank to Jen's tank. But now, when I talk about biggest, I just say Johnny's tank is the dash. I'm not going to give you an answer. Johnny's tank is the dash. That is the same way. This is Johnny's tank. Uh -huh. I think Johnny's tank. And this is Janet's tank. What? This one is the Jen's tank. Imagine Jen's tank looks like this. It has only water to serve them for maybe a week. And it will be done. Johnny, Janet's tank can try. Maybe it goes for half a month. But Johnny's tank, wait, 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 wait. This tank can serve like for one full month, even for half a year. Do you know that? And we say we must conserve water. Do you know water is life? We must conserve 
water. So in our class today, we have learned about smallest, biggest. And we have known that we can say big, and then bigger, and then biggest. Bigger can only compare two things. And biggest is the last one. That is the final one, and you are good to go. Then we have smaller, smaller, small, smaller, and smallest. So next lesson, we want to learn something about ordering things from, ordering things from, if you have done smallest to biggest, we can now do the biggest to the smallest using Johnny's tank, Janet's tank, and Jen's tank. I wish you well. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'm expecting you in my next lesson so that you find out how do you now order things from the biggest to the smallest. Are we together? That is all. Have a nice day.